All right, all right, all right. Uh, welcome back, welcome back far and near. Uh, we appreciate you for joining as we go into another session of Marriage Matters. I'm Shane, and uh, I got to introduce to you no, no other than Mr. Arthurs. Mr. Arthurs, what's up? <laughs> hey, Shane. Hopefully today we can tap into something that I, I just felt that it is it is important for us to to lay the foundation mm -hmm. and to apply relevance to what we are saying because anybody hearing these sessions, they would think, you know, wow, you guys are, or, you know, Mr. Otters, especially you sound very, uh, very much against men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I want to clarify where these ideas, thoughts, Better yet, where these principles come from, mm -hmm. and 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 that will clarify the place where responsibility lies and where, why it comes off this way. Mm -hmm. So I would like to start off saying that almost everybody, and if not everybody, a lot of people, when you ask them the question, "What does John three sixteen say?" Whether they are religious folk or not, when you ask them that question, they will have an answer. So could you tell us what John 3.16 says? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Nice. Yeah. Everybody can tell you that. And so that is a pivotal uh, passage in the Constitution that is commonly well read and known but there's a problem where when it comes to understanding marriage and understanding relationships the way the manufacturer created and intended for it to work whenever somebody create a product they have an intention you don't create a product without intention the intention comes first for the most part and then a product follows it's, it's ensued the the work is put in, we call it R&D. So for the relationship, there is a recipe, there is a formula. It was not so in the beginning, but it is so now. What is that formula? Well, the same way you have a John 3.16, you have a Genesis 3.16, and that is the John 3.16 for marriage. Whatever John 316 is, whatever John 316 is for the, the religious folk, and even some non-religious, Genesis 316 is the same for relationship and marriage. Now, what does it say? Well, in this case, the manufacturer is upset. Man disobeyed, did his own thing. And the manufacturer has returned and it's time now to issue out the judgment. So they're in a court. If they were in this time and age, they would be inside a courtroom. And you have the accused, you have the asset, and you have the accuser who doubles as the person that did the dirty work. And you have your lawyer and you have your judge. And they're there and they're sitting and talking. And so the question goes out, well, who eat this thing that? this thing that this fruit that should not have been eaten and they begin to blame each other so you begin to see man's behavior because the man said said well it's not i it is the lady so you see here from the beginning where men begin to blame women for things well in this case the lady encouraged him she did not force it down his throat but she encouraged him she says now, well, it is not I, it is this being over here. Okay, it so happened now that the judge or the manufacturer has the job now to issue out a punishment, a consequence, and he has to put things in place so that it doesn't get all the way out of hand that it's completely irreparable. And hence, we have Genesis 3.16. And so everybody can tell you a piece of Genesis 3.16. There are three things there. The first thing says that 
all women that become wives. And when I use the word wives, it includes those who decide to live with somebody. Whether you're married or not, this will cover you once you are in a relationship with a man where you're living with that man. It says to the wives, I will multiply your pain in childbirth. And I don't know of any woman that has a child, that has birthed a child before, that will say to you, that is a lie. That is not true. Nobody denies that. I haven't heard one person deny it before. But everybody stops there. But we have a problem. And the problem is that when he was issuing out the consequence for the action that man took and woman took, he did not stop there. That was the first of three. He continues to say that your desire will be for your husband. And I hope that you will chip in on your opinion on that part and, and we can discuss it. And if that was not bad enough, he turns around and he continues by saying, and your husband will rule over you. So when he issued, when, when the manufacturer issued those disciplinary actions, he did not stop at, I will multiply your pain when you bring forth a child, which that means you had to have pain because he will not multiply something that's not there, but he will greatly multiply it. Nobody argues that, but everybody overlook, whether it's out of convenience or ignorance or they didn't notice, everybody tends to overlook the other two. Maybe it's too dark and hard to accept, but I did not put it there, nor did you. So that is the foundation, and I have more to say on it, but I would like to hear your thoughts. That, that is the foundation on the whole premise of what I do, what I believe, what I share with people, how I try to help people with relationships. Everything comes from this one uh, part of the constitution, from this one section of the manual. But I would like to hear your thoughts on, on those three uh, disciplinary procedures or measures. I definitely... Uh, I'll start with some, some basic, something very basic, and then I get uh, I try to apply it into marriage and relationship. Um, mm -hmm. one, one thing I always um, I'm reminded of and I remind people of is that there are consequences to our choices. And I yeah. think if it's one thing Genesis 3 from the manufacturer teaches us is that there are consequences to our actions all right yeah um and i always say to people there are some consequences that that fade away with time right um yeah. time can definitely erase some of the effects uh if not all it depends on the the gravity of the choice and the consequence time can erase it and some of them we will have to live with yeah uh yeah. until we die all right hmm. And, and and so I, I want to all uh, so I wanna I want to carry that principle into what we're talking about today with marriage and relationships and all of that because if you commit uh you married somebody whether uh, this go goes to the husband and the wife and like you alluded to earlier and said earlier even if you decide to uh, live with somebody um or whether you planned or not and you had a child, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, it, we need to understand that there are consequences to these things. Right. Um, and so how, uh, men, we decide to uh, marry a woman or take her or, or live with her. There are consequences uh, yep. to the ladies if you decide to move in with a man or, 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 or uh, married, uh, give him your heart, uh, your life there are consequences mm -hmm. and and and, I, and I, so i, I want to start with that very very basic principle there um and like you were saying these next two have been neglected for quite some time and i'm trusting that we can unpack it a little bit but when it comes yeah. to <clears throat> uh when it when it comes to, to the whole 
a, a childbirth. I mean, there there's such a a, a beauty um, when a woman uh, carries a child. No, um, hmm. it, it's it's such a mystery and a beauty for me. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's man, it's amazing. And and I and I, I have uh, two sisters, and I remember one one of them had a very tough pregnancy, uh, and the, and the other had a a um. A, a rougher one so one had smooth and one had a uh, when i mean smooth um she wasn't that sick during her pregnancy um and she's definitely had pain and challenges but uh, she's a tough girl right so she kind of just you know got it out but right uh my other my my other sister uh i i, I wasn't in the room but I, I heard that she screamed out i don't want any more <laughs> wow want. I don't want any more. You know, uh, she had a very, very rough pregnancy, um, as they would call it, morning sickness. And so much grace to um to women. Uh, um, um as I as I got old, I I I my my appreciation uh deepened for my mom and, and just for women and all that they, right. you know, because of the pain and and the the uh effects that it has on a woman's body. Um you know, we cannot take it for granted. And so, you know, I don't think anybody would disagree with what I'm saying, but now when it comes to the, 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 the line where it talks about um, uh, your desire will be for your husband. So in spite of all the pain that you <laughs> went through bearing mm -hmm. this man's child, you will still have a desire for him. And um, one of the ways I've understood that was not just necessarily that you will have a desire to be with your husband, but uh, I've seen that in the light of there will be a desire for you to maybe want to control uh, mm. your 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 husband, I, I, and and I, and I find I find that very interesting because um, the other thing after is that but he will rule over you, and yeah. so um, you, there there tends to be this that comes up sometimes right that 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 yes the desire is for her husband maybe her her uh his companionship his his company his presence mm -hmm. but i also see when it when it comes to the end there a desire to have uh almost want to have dominion or rule over the man okay. um hmm. yeah so that's that's one of the ways i have seen this text and and I've seen it in that light due to the fact that also at the end, but he will rule over you, you know. And so uh, when it comes to the ruling over, however, um, I think it varies. I, I always tell people that the the truth and 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 truth and lie is very black and white. Hmm. Um, you know, the text, uh, thou shalt not this and that, you know. Uh, of course, some of it has deeper uh, meanings and all of that, but um, black and white, uh, most of it. But the way the truth lands on people or the way it hits different dimensions of life isn't as black and white as we would want it to be. And, and, mm. and that's that's one of the things with marriage that I, I, I've been learning and I encourage people. I say, listen, marriage is not as black and white as we would like it to be. Um, yeah. It's very dynamic. Are the principles um, black and white? I would say for the most part, yes. Um, but the way they <laughs> land and, and the way it, <laughs> you laugh. Mm -hmm. um, but 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 marriages and relationships are not as black and white. They're, they're different people, different background, different cultures, and so on. So I'll I'll, I'll say those things to go, and I, and I'll pass it back to you to hear. Uh, what you have to say, my brother? Because I'm, 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 I'm itching. You know. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I, I, I totally enjoy these type of of conversations. No. Huh? Uh huh. Um, so I'll try to start going in the reverse. In terms of what I believe, I believe that principles are black and white. That's the very definition of a principle. Uh, a principle is a principle has character. And one of the things with character is that it, it does not change. So zero means zero. One means one. If you have one zero on a paper with a contract 
and you say you are going to give somebody $10 to wash your car, you put one zero on a paper and you sign it. One zero means one zero. And that's a principle, unless there you have any other uh, criteria on that paper, that person wash your car, you give that person 10, $10. If you fail to do that, that person takes you to court. And when, the per when, when you, you go to court and it, it is proven that you signed a paper with a character one, zero on it, then you will be ordered to pay that because that's a contract. And so principles are black and white. Now, we can interpret the principles how we want, and we can apply other principles that might overshadow those principles. For example, the principle of gravity is there. It is black and yeah. white. Yeah. But by applying different principles that can overtake that, you could defy gravity. For example, mm. you can take a balloon and put helium in it. I think it's helium. And instead yeah, of the helium. balloon being pulled by gravity, there are other laws that come into place that causes a balloon to go up. Right. But if you don't apply those principles and you interfere with gravity, so you jump off a building mm -hmm. thinking that you will go up because you feel like you're a balloon, <laughs> then we're going to have a problem because the principle is black and white. And a principle doesn't mm -hmm. care if you are the prime minister's son, the president's son. It doesn't care if you had a bad day or a good day the principle will work for you. So you having a bad day doesn't mean that when you go in your car, the car will not start. It might not start, but it doesn't mean that every bad day you have your car won't start. All the principles that operate in your car will operate because the principles, they don't care if you're angry or not, if you're happy or not. They don't care if you will die or not. A principle is simply black and white. And so... Uh, that's why I love principles and our job is to not fight principles, but to use principles to our advantage. So I like that. Uh, that, that is where I would say with the principles. Now when it comes to the, the, the woman's desire for her husband, I like to look at it this way. Mm -hmm. I like to add a word in there. And I like to say that the woman's desire is to please her husband. Mm. No, it doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. That's not what it says. But I'm going to tell you something. It sounds bad. So please take it with a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. But I don't see things this way again. But I'll tell you how I used to think of it. Mm -hmm. There was one time when I used to think very poorly of women's understanding. Mm -hmm. The way how women understood things. Let me tell you how a woman behaves. Mm -hmm. A man cheats on her. He goes, he have, uh, he goes and he takes on another lady, five other ladies. And that lady would literally leave from her house, go to those other women's house mm -hmm. and quarrel mm -hmm. and fight with them mm -hmm. when those women were at home. Mm -hmm. And even if they were not at home and they call somebody in and, and taunt them and, you know, even mm -hmm. if they did that, mm -hmm. Nobody is forcing that man to have them as his second wife. Mm -hmm. You see? So they would go and fight. And fight for what? Then the woman would take this person back in. After this person just comes back and say, you know what? I realize I love you. Oh, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Take them back in. Then they do the same thing again. Take them back in. And I, I'm like, I look at the news and I see the news having that this man kicked the baby out the woman's belly beat her up, full of stitches. You know, you would watch news or you would watch this story or with this, and you check a month, two months, three months, they are back together in bed. And I used to try to figure out how can a woman behave this way? How can she accept that? There are cases where the man brings a sweetheart to live in the house. Or a man would say, okay, day one is for you, day two is for you, day three is for you, and the other days, they are for the other lady. And I see women staying in situations where they are being abused. They are being abused sexually, verbally, emotionally. And I could not understand why would women do this? And then I saw that part of the constitution that 
the manufacturer to allow things to work because he wanted things to work. After we did stupidly, things would go out of hand. And so he had to make one of us weaker to accept and tolerate nonsense like that. Because a lot of men do a lot of nonsensical things to women and get away with it. And the woman keeps that man because she loves him. That is only possible because the manufacturer himself cursed the woman that she cannot see what she's putting herself into. I want to ask you the question. If you did that same thing to a man, if a woman would do a man that, how many men you think today would tolerate that type of nonsense that men do to women? Yeah, yeah. Not, not a whole lot, brother, especially in the times we're living in. We see that that goes sour. That that costs life real quick in the times yeah. we're living in. That, that um, you know, if, it, if, we're, if we're to flip the other way around, um, yeah. if it doesn't cost other people's life, it, that, that guy's life, sometimes they can't take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and, I, yeah. And, and you will find that, that at the same time, if a man had to have a baby, mm -hmm. man, you wouldn't have such large families around. <laughs> yeah. Because right. men, men will not go through that rubbish. Uh, I'm not dealing with this again. I'm out. No. They, they, you are lucky if a man gives you one. <laughs> no, being honest, a man with yeah. you not go through that pain over and then you are turning around and cheating on him. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. That's one child you would have and you won't be able to cheat on him for the second time because he's going to make you feel. So I'm just saying that imagine that both men and women had the same mind that a man has and nobody was given this mind to be the weaker vessel. Imagine the chaos and the, the massacre that we would have on the earth today if women thought the same way and had the same thinking that men had. But they were cursed to think and for their desire be to please, or I like to say to please, but their desire to be for their husband. And that is why women tolerate a lot, a lot of rubbish yeah. from their husbands and oh. their boyfriends. Yeah. I see so you have I, a thought there. Yeah, but well, I have a question. Oh, okay. Can this desire become deadly? Uh, well, I want, to, I want uh -huh. to answer that. Uh, that leads me to the third part that I wanted to address that you mentioned in terms of uh, the question of whether the woman would want to control the man. And I'm going to say it to you this way. I've thought about that a lot. You're in a car. You're driving. Your wife is in there with you. You're having a good time, you're talking, you're going maybe on a nice vacation and your wife notices that suddenly you are not responding to her when she speaks. She turns and, and she looks at you, she looks into your direction and she finds out that you're asleep. What would any level-headed, intelligent, smart woman do? I think I would say wake you up or try to, yeah, wake you up and try to get that car back under control as soon as possible. <laughs> That's right. So they would wake you up if there is time to wake you up. If there is no time, they will grab that wheel and try to steer the vehicle, try to take it out of gear, try to do whatever they could do to save your life and their life. So why am I saying that? The husband is the head of the home. He's the driver in the car seat of the home. He takes the home places. If the wife wakes up to find that husband being asleep or that husband being reckless, what do you expect? women to do. If you check the school system right now, a lady of the same age, that lady is usually by far more developed than the male. And one session we can get into my belief as to why. But many males are immature compared to their age uh, when, when you compare them to women. So a lot of women that men marry are intelligent women. They, they have their careers. They are beautiful. They are caring. They sacrifice themselves. But yet you hear men complaining about these women that were so great before they met the men. They had their education before they met the men. They might have their houses before they met the, 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 the men. Yet the men, the men complain. And so a lady with common sense, seeing a car going off a cliff, will grab this chain wheel. This, sir, is what men 
and, and counselors and other people call controlling, that the wife will want to control the man. Now, if you're in a car and the person yeah. is awake, driving carefully, mm -hmm. you know, conscious, mm -hmm. making smart decisions, why mm -hmm. will you grab the wheel? You right. will send like that, that vehicle off track. I like that. Men want like to do that. stupid things, move according to her second head, mm. not the head that yep. is on her neck. Mm, yeah, we I like to move a to her, Yes, we like to move according to her second head. Mm -hmm. And we make all sort of other decisions and we expect mm -hmm. that her wife should stay there and keep her seatbelt on and allow the car to go anywhere we want it to go. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm sorry, sir. That 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 you can't expect that to happen. Not so, with an intelligent woman beside you. Yeah, I, I like I like that because now you see that third that third principle about the hus the, the husband ruling. If there yeah. is a husband ruling with security, there won't be and that, that won't even probably create space for what we're talking about here. That is right. If if that if that ruling uh I mean that's a whole other thing when you talk about the, the ruling because could we could we then say that a woman has a space to cry uh, legitimately when that ru ruling or that leadership is not providing security. You know, um, could we say that yeah. and could we advise for a woman to reach out um, constructively reach out when that leadership and, and that ruler is not, is asleep? based on the analogy that you use. Um, and I like how yeah. you put it, that that the control is not because, um, uh, it's not vain. It's not just because they want to have control. I think if a woman nope. is secure, and, and it, I always say uh, inner security, I'm sorry, insecurity is a lack of inner security. Of course, okay? that's right. Insecurity is a result uh, of a lack of inner security. So uh, as husband, right. if, we, if we can be providing that space that they can have that inner security they won't, that, that won't create the space for them having to want to grab the wheel. I like it. I, I want to say to you that in that same point that you mentioned, wanting to grab the wheel, that mm. women also carry a fourth curse. Mm. So I would like to see that, but there is something else that it applies to this, to this um, understanding where whenever the man does what should be done, then there is peace, there is calm, there is understanding. But whenever the man fails to do what should be done, then there is no peace because the car is getting ready to go off a cliff. For example, you have a, 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 an Equinox or a Ford or a Chevy something, and it's a 2023 vehicle. The vehicle, it has dynamic lane assist. It has vehicle warning system. There are radars yeah. on the front of the vehicle sensors. Mm -hmm. That sense if you're coming too close to the vehicle in front of you, and mm -hmm. it can actually help you to apply the brakes. Mm -hmm. If the road is marked and you're in that mm -hmm. vehicle and you're drifting away from the white line, mm -hmm. going across to the other lane, mm -hmm. the car actually nudges you back. The steering mm -hmm. of the car mm -hmm. nudges you back on the right side of the street, mm -hmm. of the road. Because yeah. in, in, in our country, it's not so bad. We have very, a very small two-lane highway. Mm -hmm. And when I say two lane, I mean one direction going, uh, going and, and one coming. direction coming, not two lanes right. in the same direction. Yeah, well, we need in that. countries, <laughs> yeah, in countries like the states, you have four or five lanes and, and more. Yeah. And the vehicles, they are traveling 60, 70, sometimes more miles mm -hmm. an hour. Mm -hmm. And if you by mistake, you know, you're not paying attention and you move out your lane, you can cause accidents, deaths. Mm -hmm and traffic jams mm -hmm. no so the vehicle comes with many systems there you'll see a red light flashing you if someone is there or your vehicle is there and you're moving too close to it you'll actually see a red light flashing on the dashboard mm -hmm. so i i went to my wife and i said i want to ask you a question would you prefer for me to take the warning lights out your vehicle mm -hmm. so can i go to your car and just take out all the bulb mm -hmm. that flash warning to you Mm. is it okay for me to remove those systems? Mm. And she's like, no. Mm. Why would you want to do that? Mm -hmm. But this is what we're telling women. Mm -hmm. A woman mm -hmm. is a warning system mm. to the male. 
If that lady is complaining, what mm. does she complain about? I'll tell you some of the things I hear. Mm. The man stays like out that. and spends all his money on, on, on drinking. Mm -hmm. He buys rungs for his friends every payday. I've seen where women have to go to their husband's work mm. on payday mm -hmm. and stay at the gate because if they don't do that, their husband will, will be buying rungs for, for all his friends. Wow. Wow. The woman will complain about that. Yeah. Another place a woman will complain. She is trying to take help with the family and all that. And the mm -hmm. man has a sweetheart. Mm. She will complain mm. about that. Mm. So whenever you mm. hear a woman complaining, mm. is she being unreasonable? Oh, mm. so it should be okay for you to cheat on your wife. And she mm -hmm. should not say anything. Oh, it's just a mistake. Mm -hmm. Just shut up and take it. Yeah. That is similar to pulling out the warning lights. Yeah. You can pull the warning lights out. Hmm. All it means hmm. is that you won't be warned in advance mm -hmm. and catastrophe will be sudden. Yeah. You see? Wow. So so that is that is one direction. And then finally, I would like to say the fourth curse. And this one bothers me a lot. Mm-hmm. The fourth curse is the curse given to man. Mm. That is the fourth curse that women carry. So women have four curses. Three that God gave them, and they also have one that God gave man. And when I say man, I mean males. So do you, you remember the curse that God gave males? By the sweat of your bro. By um, the sweat you will... of your bro. Yeah, you shall work, right? And uh, right. not just not eat. just that you will eat, but not just that too. Um, the ground is also cursed, right? Yep, it is. That's right. So, mm -hmm. so now by the sweat of your brow, that is the curse. One curse, you know. Hmm. One curse given to the man. Mm -hmm. That is saying one of two things. Hmm. Either that curse is so rough, it is so hard. That just that one curse is enough. Hmm. It's enough a consequence for the male. Mm -hmm. hmm. So I just will give you this one curse because that hmm. is too much for you. It is enough. Hmm. Or if you want to look at it another way, you could say, well, maybe he was not the first one to eat this thing. Mm -hmm. So he got a lighter punishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Regardless of which one it is, and I believe hmm. it's more the first, Mm -hmm. He got one curse mm -hmm. and it bothers me mm. that women today mm. have their three curses, mm. God given, manufacturer mm. given. They have their three mm -hmm. curses and now mm -hmm. they have to take on the man's one because even the man believes that they have to work. That's your job. You should work half and bring in half of the weight. Wait, sir. Wait, that's okay. Hmm. You believe that. Everybody believes that today. This is why women age so fast, look way beyond their age. This is why hmm. they are so irritable, hmm. so ignorant, so wanting to take control of how, however men uh, mm -hmm. describe women. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they take on three curses hmm. that they don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And now they have to choose to take on yours, sir. Wow. Because when you have your five women, hmm. then they have to go to work to take care of the five kids that you give them because you can't take care of the five women and your five kids. Nah. The, the woman is at work mm -hmm. taking on this man's curse. Mm. And while hmm. she's there taking on his curse, mm -hmm. with her curse inside her belly hmm. for eight to eight and a half months, she has to carry this baby and she's working, you know, with mm -hmm. that baby in her belly. Mm. She is taking her curse and taking the man's curse along with that. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. must come home now and the other two curses are still in play. Her desires for her husband and he will rule mm -hmm. over, over her. Mm -hmm. And she has to perform what we call woman duties. So I have a quick question here. Is yes. this fourth curse is this different from a woman who voluntarily wants to work let's let's look at that we're looking mm -hmm. at 
a responsibility. Okay, right. A woman can voluntarily love her husband, mm -hmm. but that is not her responsibility. Mm -hmm. You can love a policeman if you want. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. You can treat the policeman good, give him food every day, take care of his kids. You can love him if you want. Voluntarily, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your responsibility to a police officer is to respect him. Mm -hmm. He might not deserve your respect, but he doesn't need to earn your respect because he, mm -hmm. he does not come from his own standing, but he represents the country. Mm -hmm. So you can love him all you want, voluntarily, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but your responsibility that you cannot run away from mm -hmm. is to respect him. Mm -hmm. So when that time comes, if you if you refuse to respect the police officer, then he is within his right to encourage you to respect mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. in ways you might not necessarily uh, approve of or like. Right. That's I'm talking especially on a legal basis, not yeah. doing illegal things. I I'm, I'm not trying to to encourage that. So so a woman should work if a woman wants to work, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be as the case is now where she has to work. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. she doesn't work, her children won't eat. She won't mm -hmm. eat. Bills mm -hmm. won't be paid. That should mm -hmm. not be the situation. And if mm -hmm. we're in that situation where a woman, uh, you know, your wife has not a choice and she has mm -hmm. to work, then you mm -hmm. have to look and say, since she's taking on my curse, mm -hmm. then how can I take on her curse? Take on mm -hmm. parts of her curse. Mm -hmm. The parts that, that they are possible for me to take on. Mm -hmm. So you can't mm -hmm. go playing basketball, playing games, hanging out with your friends. Mm -hmm. I like she that. She goes to work whole day. She comes home tired, needs mm -hmm. someone to rub her feet. Mm -hmm. You come home from playing ball and know you're hungry. Mm. She had to deal with the kids, help them with their homework, put them to bed. You come home, know you're hungry and you want sex. Mm -hmm. Man, you married a maid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A money-making maid. You can't get better <laughs> than that. You know, oh, and, man. and so uh, I'm just saying that the way it should be, that might not be possible in my family or somebody mm -hmm. else's family, but mm -hmm. the woman should not be forced to work to live. That was mm -hmm. not her curse. Mm -hmm. And if she has to do it to live, then who are you to go out there and make mm -hmm. children with other women and give other mm -hmm. women your time and your love and your affection that if you took that same affection and applied it to your wife, she would be in a better mood because yeah. you are home to help her share the duties at home because she's yeah. out sharing your duty at work. Yeah, you should be filling in the gap. More than filling in the gap. Mm -hmm. You should mm -hmm. be cutting the gap in half. Yeah. Since she's yeah. taking on 100% of your curse, mm. not 50, you know, mm. 100. Mm -hmm. When my wife used to, uh, at her work, she would work harder than I would work mm. for longer hours mm -hmm. and make more than I make. Mm -hmm. I was a teacher at that time. And so mm -hmm. I thought I went in maybe 10. Sometime I went in one o'clock mm -hmm. and came out three. Mm -hmm. And my wife would be at work from eight sometime till nine, 10 in the night. Wow. So I would be out there waiting for her and other husbands would be out there and they start to, to say, well, I remember a security guard asking me, don't you get upset having every day to come here and wait on your wife? Mm. And I said, upset? <laughs> no. Mm. That's a privilege for me. Mm. She's taking on my curse mm -hmm. and bringing in money in the house along mm -hmm. with myself. And I will complain that I have to wait on her for three hours when mm. she's working for 12. Mm. Mm. No. Yeah. We, yeah. we have to be balanced. No, I think it's uh it's for sure. I think I think the balance is is important. And um when when we I think the last thing I I, I want to share here uh, for our session is the when I when I consider all that you're saying and all that we've discussed tonight, and I con and I, I look at uh Ephesians five that calls the husband to love and to uh to wash and to take care and to nourish and to cherish right yeah <clears throat> and 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 i look at and i look at the call for the woman to reverence her husband and i and i and i think i think about just one aspect of reverence um 
a applicable, practical uh, application of reverence. Not the only way, but one dimension of uh, a woman applying reverence is is affirming her husband, right? And and yeah. you could you could you you maybe could attest to this, but I could say for sure when the times my wife would affirm me in an ear and boy, I I just want to keep doing that thing, you know, because right. um it just connects and feeds me in a way that nobody else on this can really, can, you know, and so I just want to, I want to kind of balance it. This one, some of my final thoughts here. Um, yeah. As uh, you know, um, guys, women, as we love and cherish and nourish, that's our rule because what I hear tonight with the, along with the curse, it, it comes with rules. Right. Um, right. And, and I, and I think as a uh, wise, my, one of my encouragement tonight is you know, in, in, in areas that you can affirm, affirm, you know, it, it goes a yeah. long way. Um, it feeds a long way. And, and fellas, guys, um, the role to love, to cherish and to nourish. And, and as we said earlier, right, that that principles are black and white. But as they yeah. as they land on various relationships and people and marriages, it's 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 not it's more dynamic as it lands. All right. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look the same for everybody, uh, but we def but the principles should be held and applied nonetheless. And so I, I think it was, man, I think it was a lot, a lot of good stuff tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that you unpacked for us, my brother. Um, yeah. I, the final. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I definitely want to, to, to end off agreeing with what you said. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, issuing a sort of, I don't want to say a warning, but that you need mm. to be careful. We mm -hmm. as men need to be careful because we, men, you are the foundation of your marriage. Mm. So mm. as human beings, we all need affirmation. And that's a mm -hmm. very good thing. Mm -hmm. But getting the affirmation should not be what strengthens a man's foundation. Right. A man Agreed. needs to come with a strong foundation because a family needs mm -hmm. to be built on top of him. Mm -hmm. And so in no way, I don't, I just want to cry for that. You are not saying that men should come into a relationship weak, oh, needing no. affirmation to no. function. And if no. they don't get it, then they will not function. In fact, right. I, I want to add that uh, if the man does what he should do, mm -hmm. the wife's affirmation or respect will come naturally that that's right why that's right that's right why because she has been cursed mm -hmm. she is cursed so bad that the man does stupid things mm -hmm. and she still fight for him she still mm -hmm. accept him back Mm -hmm. So imagine if you don't do stupid things and begin to do what you should be doing. I, I imagine. think blessings would flow, my brother. Blessings would flow. Imagine. So, so I just <laughs> want to say that, 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 that in that formula, yeah. it needs to start with the man. Yeah. The man needs to do what he should be doing mm. and the rest will follow naturally because the curse is there. And I'll say this as an ending that I like to say to men when they come to me and say, they would say, what, what about this lady that she's always quarreling and she's contagious and she's... And then I have to say, you have to be a man that is way outside your game. Mm. You have to be at the lowest end, the worst end of your game mm. to let somebody that nobody less than God has cursed. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer has cursed this person that her desire will be for you and mm -hmm. you will rule over her. Mm -hmm. You have to be way outside your game for this person to come to you until you come out the house. I'm tired of mm -hmm. you. Go back to your parents. Yeah. yeah. Something is desperately wrong with you. If somebody that nobody less than God has cursed, mm -hmm. that their desire will be for you mm -hmm. and you will rule over them for that person mm -hmm. to put you out. Mm -hmm. You need some help with working on your game. That's my belief. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'd like to end, end with that, no? Yeah, yeah, guys. Thank you for um, hanging in there, considering, uh, thinking with us. Um, I, 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 I hope this has put you in a, a deeper place of considering things 
uh, yes. when it comes to dynamics and relationships and, and to reflect, right? Um, mm -hmm. Reflection is always great. Introspect uh, and reflection to go forward. So, uh, okay. but until next time, this has been Marriage Matters and we hope to see you next time with another great discussion that will enrich you and your relationship. Thank you.